Hey, what's up everyone? So I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper from the previous video that I shared with you all and uh, show you how I put the API block together in Typebot to then connect over to Chatbase. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind, uh, if you refer to the basic ChatGPT template, I'm replicating pretty much the same thing. So I think it'll be helpful to keep that in mind. So to show you exactly what I was uh, cloning or replicating is this message sequence. So uh, Batiste pretty much uh, abstracted this from us. He made it really easy. So you can just select messages sequence, right? Um, so if we hop over to the chat base demo, we don't have that option. That option only applies to the open AI block, right? So if we open up the, the API block for this and go over to body, this is how you replicate it. So for uh, content role assistant, you pass in a variable and I am calling it assistant message, messages. You can call it whatever you want. And then we do the same for the user role. So for the user role, I just call it user messages. And then you save the response or the chat GPT answer as assistant messages. So that pretty much takes care of, of this part, right? The messages uh, sequence. All right, cool. So just to go over the other little details that you need to make this work, uh, you need the API base URL, which you can find in the API documentation, which is nicely laid out. It's simple, it's clean, it's easy to understand. Uh, so you'll find it right here. And also note that it's, it's a post request that we're making. So you'll put in your base URL right here um, and then select your post um, method. Uh, and then for headers, you'll put in uh, the key of authorization and then the value of your API key. So if we go over to the docs, you can see this is what you'll need to do. So the uh, first key is authorization, and then it's uh, it's actually bearer followed by your uh, API key. And you can find your API key under account, and then, uh, yeah, it's the last thing on the list, so you'll just copy it right here. And I'm not gonna show it to you because it, yeah. <laughs> It, I'll expose my API key. So, um, so in any case, it's easy to figure out. Uh, once you know that, you'll put it in here. And then the last thing is your chat ID. So your chat ID can be found under uh, my chatbots. You select your chatbot, and then under settings, you'll find it right here. Uh, so that should be it for making the, the API call. <clears throat> One thing to keep in mind is that this is pretty much a, a loop, right? So to break out of the loop, to make this more useful for your users, is probably a good idea to, to end the response with some sort of answer or, or option to request another question or another answer or to just kind of break out of that loop and, I don't know, offer your user, um, yeah, like a different flow to, to your type bot. Uh, and something that I wasn't planning to share in the video, but I think was pretty cool is that in chat base, uh, since we're talking about APIs, uh, 
there's a couple other things that you can do. So you create, you can create chatbots, which I haven't really gone into. You can update your chatbot, delete the chatbot. But the one that I thought was pretty cool was this crawl API call. So typically, what I would do to crawl a website is is uh, run like a Python script on my machine, and uh, there's other services that allow you to crawl websites, uh, but I thought this one was pretty cool because through Typebot you can you can make an API call to return a list of to return a list of URLs, which I thought would be pretty cool. So, um, so one thing that you can do with Typebot, for example, is Create a um, yeah, create um, a list of uh, dynamic buttons, and the list of dynamic buttons needs to be in the format of an array or a list, and that's exactly what this uh, this returns. It returns an array or a list of all the uh, URLs that it scraped. So. Anyways, uh, that's a uh, food for thought. Maybe that'll be applicable for someone, but I thought it was kind of cool and worth mentioning in the video. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments.